The rules to playing Gorilla are simple and straightforward. Setup begins with shuffling the deck, removing the revolution, and trader cards. The player rolling the highest is the dealer, and deals out 7, 8, or 9 cards to all players depending on how many players are in the game. Place an equal number of government and rebel markers into an opaque cup according to the rules. For 3 to 5 player games, add a mercenary marker. Each player draws a marker from the opaque cup. They look at it and keep it next to their sequence of play marker, not revealing the information to the other players. Players must now deploy all complexes in their hand face up. They can choose to deploy soldiers individually or in groups at this time. The soldiers are placed face down and revealed when everyone has finished with the deployment phase. The players will then draw to fill their hands back up to capacity. All red cards are returned to the dealer and replaced with non-red cards. Now the dealer shuffles the three trader cards into the deck, then cuts the deck in half and shuffles the revolution card into what will be the bottom half of the deck. The sequence of play must be performed in the following order. You can return a group or individual soldiers or leaders to your hand. You may attack an opposing group of soldiers that are controlled by another player. You can deploy or reinforce soldiers to the table. A trade may be offered to swap cards at this time. Now you can discard up to four cards from your hand and draw to fill your hand back to capacity. Each part of the sequence requires an action to perform. This also means that you cannot deploy and attack. You must attack before the deployment phase. Note that many cards have letters which indicate the order they may be played in during a turn, such as an assassin card is played before the UN card. The game ends when the deck runs out and sudden death takes place. At the end of each turn, a die is rolled and compared to the sudden death track. If the number equals or surpasses the number on the track, then the game ends immediately. Once the game ends, the points scored are tallied up for the government and rebel sides. The one with a higher point total wins unless the mercenary is in play and the point totals are within 25 of each other. And that is how you play Gorilla.